Are you a teacher trying to find ways to make money online? Are you just someone trying to make money online because you just need more money? Fast. Well, that's what we're going to talk about today. But first, if you're new to this channel, I'm Ashley Tess. And on this channel, you can expect to learn how to make money online, affiliate marketing, and tips and tricks for you to be successful. So if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button down below. And let's get started about different ways to make money online as a teacher. Let's get started with different ways about making money as a teacher. So as we know, teachers do not make nearly as much as we should. I would know I have been teaching for five years and I probably have done almost everything on this list that I'm about to share. So let's get to it. My first one I wanted to share would be tutoring. And I know this is probably an obvious one, but I wanted to share some different resources and different ways you can go about tutoring because tutoring is something that we know best. We already know how to teach students, but we don't necessarily know the right ways to get students or clients or if you want to just work for a company. So there are a ton of companies out there nationwide. Um, if you do a Google search or if you go on Craigslist, you can always find varsity tutors. I know um, I live in Las Vegas, so that's what we have here, but I think they're also um, around the nation. If you are looking for kind of more private tutoring, there's different companies you can also look for, like Wiznat. I think I'm saying that right, but they have where you can make your own profile. You can reach out to different clients. There's also care.com. I've used both Wisna and care.com to find personal clients where you can make your own profile and people reach out to you. You can reach out to people for different jobs if people post a job for tutoring. So um, also with tutoring companies, I wanted to point out that Sometimes they don't like to pay you what you are worth and that's why sometimes people do private tutoring on their own or you find your own clients, which you could do. You can post your own ads on Craigslist. You can post your own ads on Facebook and Facebook groups or word, word of mouth to get new students to tutor. But with tutoring companies, you do have to show your worth and because people don't really know the value of you having your own teaching license. Sometimes they are trying to pay you as if you were a college student instead of you having experience teaching in the classroom. So really explain your worth of your teaching experience and having a teaching license. So that would be kind of something to be aware about when you are tutoring with a company. So let's find out number two. Another way to make money online as a teacher would be to teach online. And I know these are things that you guys have heard of, but I wanted to give some tips and tricks about each one of these options. So with teaching online, there are a ton of companies about teaching English online. And I know most of you have heard of this, the same ones like VIP Kids, or say ABC, but there are a ton of companies and you can find more companies instead of just Googling. If you go to Facebook groups and you search Teach English Online, there are a ton of people that talk about the pros and cons of each of their companies to work for. But I wanted to mention that there are more than just a couple options because I know everyone talks about the same ones. and. There are different options that could really resonate to you as a teacher. Maybe there's some that you want to work with older students or some with younger students. There's some with adults. So go to those Facebook groups where you can find the different companies that you want to work for. To be honest with this teaching online is that if you are in a certain time zone, you will have to wake up like really early. If you live on the East Coast, not so much, but if you live more on the West Coast, the Pacific time zone, uh, waking up 
to be teaching online because most likely you'll be teaching students that live in China. So these students would be kind of the nighttime, evening time for them when you're tutoring them, but for you, it might be super early in the morning, like two to three in the morning for you to be teaching in their time zone. So that's something to be aware of. But another tips and trick with teaching online is go to those Facebook groups, do a Google search, find the company that works for you, do a Google search with a review. There's also a ton of reviews on YouTube with finding the right company that you would like to work for. And let's talk about number three. Number three might be an obvious one as well with selling your stuff online. I know a ton of teachers make their own resources. We use Teachers Pay Teachers all the time, but maybe there are some cases where you make your own resources or there's some game you make or different things in the classroom you laminate or you create by yourself. And it would be great money making opportunity if you sold those things. Maybe you made a game using cards or just new materials and you wanted to sell them on Etsy because that would be a website would be homemade materials besides uh, paper type materials with Teachers Pay Teachers. Or you can make your own website with bundles of activities that you have created yourself. But that is another way to start making online money online is if you sell your own stuff. We are so creative. You can even sell your PowerPoints, different things that you have created. And instead of just making them for yourself, let the world see it and you can start making your own money from what you create. The next money making online activity you should do would be affiliate marketing. And you could be an affiliate marketer, which means you are selling another person's product and you make a commission from it. So a lot of teachers start their own blogs, they start their own websites, they start their own kind of maybe LMM company, business opportunity, or you could do your own YouTube channel where you make your own money by selling other people's products or recommending people's products. And that is an excellent way to make money online because there is an endless opportunity to have your sales, your commissions, just there's no cap on it. The more you sell, the more you make. And affiliate marketing is easier than you think. I have a lot of videos on my channel if you're interested in more about starting your own affiliate marketing business. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and learn more. But just to give you a little bit tips and tricks with it is that the higher commission you uh, product you choose to sell, the more money you make. So if you are choosing to sell a $500 product and your commission is 50%, you're making $250 just with one sale. So it's better to sell higher product, um, higher, higher cost products because you can make more money. The lower product cost products, you don't make as much, but it might be easier to sell. So you have to think about, are you trying to sell quantity or quality? But that's my next um, rec recommendation to make money online is affiliate marketing. And my last recommendation is coming right up. And my last recommendation to make money online as a teacher is to become a YouTuber. Most teachers and most people don't even know this, that YouTubers make a ton of money based off the views, the subscribers they have, and the watch time on their channel. And it does take a while to, to get set up, to get all those subscribers, to get all those watches. But to be able to make money on YouTube, you have to monetize your channel and your videos. And that means you need to have at least 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours. 
but if you start now you can get closer and closer to be able to make money online and that means when you monetize your youtube channel you are allowing to have video ads on your videos and that's how you create money based off how many views you have so a certain amount of views would be how much money you get uh, on your youtube videos on your youtube channel so making you your own youtube channel is a great way to make money online and even as a teacher you can start being a youtuber with sharing your lessons sharing your ideas that you have created sharing even your lesson plans sharing your day as a teacher sharing all the things about what it takes to be a teacher how to get started different recommendations for your, your evaluations your observations anything as long as you have a niche and you start right now that's how you can become you can become a youtuber and start creating your own money online as a teacher so my question to you is have you done any of these before are any of these new to you that you never thought about to make money online as a teacher comment below and let me know what your thoughts about all these ideas about making money online as a teacher if you like this video make sure you give it a like a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you can learn more and become successful and becoming your own uh, entrepreneur as an online marketer or whatever you're trying to do to make money online